Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 books that I want to read in 2018. So this is a combination of books that I want to finish on my TBR. So like I said, in my 2018 reading goals, I want to finish all the books that are on my TBR that I have here at school before I can read the new ones that I got at Christmas. Um, so like you can see, like you can go check out those videos to see which uh, books that I got for Christmas. Um, so yeah, this is a, co a combination of books that have been on my shelf for a while, uh, new books and all that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So this is a book that I ended up purchasing last year and I haven't picked it up yet, but I'm, I think I'll be picking it up very soon. And it is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. And I did, um, I double majored and one of them was in anthropology. So this is like right up my alley with the evolution of humans, which I think will just be really interesting. And I did get his other book as well, Homo Deus, for Christmas. So I want to read this first before I even venture into the next one. So I really want to finish this. It's a very heavy book because it is like that nice paper that has like colored, like colors in it, like colored pictures on it. So it feels heavier than it actually is because it's just like just over 400 pages so um yeah but i think this one will be really interesting it's just covering over 100,000 years of human evolution and kind of how we've evolved like as a species over the past couple hundred years so i think this one's gonna be really interesting and totally up my anthro nerd like alley like this is perfect so this is a book that i got for christmas and it is the alice network by kate quinn and i'm really really excited to pick this one up so essentially it's a historical fiction novel that covers basically kind of world war one and world war two and what was known as the alice network which is a network of spies that were women so i'm really intrigued with this i don't want to know too much about the plot before i go into it but i know it's going to be something that i really love and my aunt read it and she said she really liked it so i'm really excited to be picking this up as soon as i finish these ones so that's like what i'm striving for at the moment. Next I have Beneath a Scarlet Sky by Mark Sullivan and this is another book that I got for Christmas that is kind of historically based. Like for this one as well I don't want to know too much about it but I know it's related to World War II and a man in Italy who is kind of being defiant against the Nazis and it's based on a true story so I want to keep these vague as possible because I don't want to know too much about it when I read into it but I do know this is going to be made into a movie with either this year or next year I saw. So definitely this is one I'll be picking up real soon. Next, this is another book that I got for Christmas and it was The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And this is essentially, it's about, it's a nonfiction story about a woman named Her Henrietta who um, basically her cells were harvested without her permission and they were used to eventually solve a lot of the kind of medical advances that have been made, like the, her cells have been key in that. So basically it kind of follows basically her kids fought like figuring out that this happened to them and just kind of discussing the medical ethics of everything and I think this one will be very interesting. I'm really excited and I think this one will be just make you really think so I'm really excited to pick this one up. So next I have The Orphan's Tale by Pam Jenoff and this is another historical fiction World War II book and it basically follows a woman who um, was raped by a Nazi and she had to give that child up and so when her hometown basically is like harvesting all the kids that are going to be sent to concentration camps, concentration camps, she ends up picking one and taking him so it's about that story and I think that sounds so intriguing so I'm really really excited like you know I'm a sucker for historical fiction like especially around World War II so like I'm super excited for this one and this is one that is not currently out it comes out in early February and it's The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna and this is her newest release I think since The Nightingale which is probably one of my favorite books of all time and I don't want to know anything about this this is like on my like I'm gonna pre-order it pretty soon I'm pretty sure um even though I want to minimize my book buying but I really like love Kristen Hanna and I have one more book on my shelf that will be appearing in this video of hers that I haven't read that I own so then I think they'll make it okay if I finish that one and read that one so I'm really excited for this new release and her books are always intriguing so you can read the synopsis on Amazon but I don't want to know anything about it like once I saw she was releasing a new book I was like I need to pick it up <laughs> 
So speaking of Kristen Hanna, this is the only book on my shelf of hers that I haven't read yet, and it is True Colors. And basically, I think the premises of this, who it follows sisters who are shattered by their mom's deaths when they were really young. Like each sister is very different and unique, and it says in a matter of moments, their family will be torn apart. The Green sisters will be pitted against one another in ways that none could have imagined. Blows will be retested, and secrets revealed. And a terrible, shocking crime will shatter both their families. And their beloved town so i think this one will be really interesting kristen hannah always like centers her books around female relationships and this one obviously is going to be about sisters so i'm really excited to pick this one up as i said i've had it on my shelf for a while and it's the only currently kristen hannah book that i own that i haven't read yet so definitely will be picking this one up very soon so this is another book that's been on my shelf for a while that I really want to get to and it is The Collector by Nora Roberts. So it basically follows this woman who is um, a house sitter and she witnesses this murder slash suicide and that kind of leads to kind of things spiraling out of control. So she is contacted um, by his the person who killed himself's brother and they're kind of see that he doesn't believe that his brother committed suicide so they're kind of looking into that there i think this one will be really creepy um nora roberts always has like a really good spin in the ones of hers that i've read or like twists and turns so i'm really excited to pick this one up and i think it'll be really really interesting so yeah so this is another one that's been on my shelf for a while and i just finished one jojo moy's book and this is the last one that i own of hers that i haven't read yet and it's one plus one so essentially it says it follows a single mother um who has tried to do the right thing but life doesn't make it easy especially when her math was daughter gets a life-changing opportunity they can't afford Ed Nichols is a brilliant tech millionaire whose life is falling apart when he happens upon Jess and her family stranded on the side of the road. And perhaps his first unselfish act ever, uh, Ed agrees to drive the, um, them plus their pungent dog Norman to the math Olympiad and to the prize that could change their lives forever. So I think this one will be very interesting. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the last letter from your lover so hopefully this one I will enjoy a little bit more. Finally, again, this is another book that's been on my shelf for a while that I just want to pick up, and it is Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter, and this is the large print edition that I purchased on Amazon by accident, so I could read this halfway across the room. So basically it says here, it's been more than 20 years since Claire and Lydia last spoke. Claire is the glamorous trophy wife of Atlanta millionaire. Lydia, a single mother dating an ex-con, struggles to make ends meet. But neither has recovered from the disappearance of their sister, Julia, two decades earlier, and the shocking murder of Claire's husband brings the her horror and heartbreak of the past roaring back into their lives. So I think this one sounds really creepy and eerie and like a really good kind of mystery. So I'm really, really excited to pick this one up because I want to get to it very soon. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what some of the books that you want to read in 2018 are. If you've read any of these, please let me know. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.